Well, a brand new robotics team has kicked off at Wilmington High School, and there's a lot of excitement about it. In fact, 40 students came to the first meeting. Team co-advisor Julie Kim said there was a lot, always interest in robotics, but they never had a team before. Well, we have a lot of resources and a lot of uh, excited people, but we didn't have a team. We weren't competitive, and so a lot of the students asked, you know, I want to do robotics, even at the middle school level, so I said, you know, we should have one. Marlene King, who is the other co-advisor, says the team has lofty goals. Um, we're hoping to build a robot that's going to perform really well at the competitions and hoping that we're going to have like some real team spirit and we're going to have a lot of school spirit and a lot of support when we go to our competitions. In fact, the co-advisors said their goal is to have more supporters at the robotics competitions than at home football games, and they're just getting started. So um, our first step is to get a team together, and you can see we have over 40 kids at the high school that are interested in, in our classroom for the robotics team. Um, I think the first year we want to have fun. We want to build a team morale and a team spirit, and then we just want to figure out, you know, what it's about. A lot of kids don't have robotics experience. It's cutting edge, it's new, um, but they're interested in it. So I wanted, to the, I wanted them to get excited first. And then maybe in the next few years we can start getting a little bit more competitive. Miss King says starting the robotics team did require the co-advisors to do some pre preparation. Um, well, I went along with um, the other coach to some training over the summer, and so that was our first experience building robots, so we're about to find out how good we are at it, because uh, we've never done it before, but I think we can. Um, right now we have three kits going out, so that um, they're going to build a what's a, just a basic push bot, which is sort of the base to the robot, and um, once we've finished with that and we have those working, then we can add on features to it, which will be needed in order to perform well in the competitions. Before the team begins building robots, they first held elections for certain positions on the team. Uh, I'm Sean Messenger and I'm running for project manager. Jared Benoit and I'm running for marketing and blogging lead. Let's hear from Ethan Karneski who is on the Redding High Robotics team. So I've been in robotics at Redding High um, for the past two years and this will be my third year there. So to hear that an FTC has started team has started up here. That makes me really happy. I've always loved doing the robotics at Reading and um, to be able to do it here now is amazing. So I'm very happy for the team. I'm ready to lead the team to hopefully a good few wins and uh, yeah. The robotics team will keep compete in tournaments against other Massachusetts high school robotics teams. So the way competitions work in FTC is they're set up in tournaments. So in tournaments it'd be nice to win the separate matches that we get and then possibly go on to eliminations, which is where you're given alliance teams. Um, and it'd be really nice if we could win a competition this year. That's probably one of my higher goals is win a competition, which I think is anyone's goal. But, you know, it'd be for a first-year team, as big as we are looking around the room, it, it'd be amazing to win our first competition or our second or whatever. So, Well, with all the energy and enthusiasm in the robotics club, I'm sure it'll be very successful at the meets. By the way, you can follow the robotics team on Instagram at wildcats underscore robotics. And if you'd like to join them, they meet Fridays after school in room 3013. I'm Sean Guiney for Wildcat TV.